Genesis chapter 18, Meeting of the Moon United Family. I'm your host, Darwin Salas, official water boy and janitor and motivator and everything else for the Moon United team. This is my co-host, uh, Bebeto. How's everybody doing today? Good morning. Uh, we got uh, a really nice guest today. His name is Mr. Matt Carver. How you doing, sir? All right, doing well. How are you? <laughs> Very good. No, tenemos, hoy tenemos el honor de presentar a un nuevo miembro de la familia, a new member of our family for the Moon United. His name is Matt Carver. We also have here the legend, Coach uh, Brandon Hermos. Good to be here. How you doing, Brandon? Good. Very good yeah. to be here, yep. Well, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to, to come to our show. 2010, you started Jayhawk Soccer. Right, that's right. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, yeah. the whole okay. Iowa United uh, Football Club. Yeah. Yeah, so we started Jayhawk Soccer Club started in 2010 after I had been part of Urbandale Soccer Club for oh, a number of probably nine, eight or nine years. Uh, I'd grown up playing soccer, and one of the things I observed is that a lot of the youth clubs in the Des Moines area, and this included Urbandale Soccer Club, is that they were, one, that they were using the recreational program to subsidize the select program, so they uh -huh. were overcharging for the recreational program. Uh, those teams also weren't getting field use. And then the cost of the select was getting incredibly expensive. So the cost was going up significantly from what the cost of select, let's say when they started select soccer, I mean, it, it really actually started in Des Moines, even late 80s, but it really got going in the mid 90s, I would say. Uh -huh. And so at that time when select soccer developed, it was still a relatively low cost option. It was, so, yeah, yeah, mid 90s, 93, 94, 95, 96 is when it started to push up a little bit, which was kind of when my era, my mm -hmm. group started to, you started to see these, the West Des Moines, the Waukees, the Urban Hills, the yeah. select teams, you know. I mean, it's a blessing how, how the soccer community keeps on growing exponentially mm -hmm. and how it's more available. Before it was an elite sport. I mean, right. It was like, even when my son was, uh, uh, he was at the Menace Academy, mm -hmm. it was extremely expensive. Yeah. Like, yeah. you had to have money to have your right. kid playing, plus the tournaments, but also all that yeah. stuff. And, right. And now with, with, with projects like yours and uh, UFA, yep. doing a great job, yep. the Moines Soccer mm -hmm. Club, is making, is making soccer a lot more accessible to the kids. Yeah, and, and that was our plan, is because we thought, you know, there are more parents now that around one, we have more uh, communities in the Des Moines area where soccer is part of the culture, yeah. which mm -hmm. we didn't have in the, if you went back to like, let's say the 70s, 80s. Oh yeah. I mean, soccer really got started in Des Moines area around the 70s when it really first uh -huh. started. But at that time, well, who was our Des Moines just player? wasn't very Aaron diverse. Aaron Leventhal was our first guy, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who? I mean, he was the first. Aaron Leventhal, the first like, okay. greatest soccer player to come out of Iowa, basically. Yeah. Urban Nail guy. Urban Nail guy, yeah. We played together in high school. Yep. He was a couple years behind yep. me in high school. But uh, it just wasn't, we weren't as diverse at that time. And so, yeah. with the additional diversity we have now in Des Moines, you have yep. a lot more parents who have that background in the game. And exactly. then also, there are some. Uh, other parents like myself who at least started playing and played some, you know, growing up, they have some understanding of the game. So mm -hmm. those parents are able to help the coach. Some of them are, not all, but that's some are certainly able to coach. And then when they coach, they can keep that cost down. And so that's what we wanted to do. So a lot of volunteers, like parents, yes, volunteer, our, that's amazing. Yeah, our, our club actually, and this isn't any judgment on uh, paid coaches at all, but mm -hmm. Part of our mission is to keep co uh, costs down is that our bylaws state no paid coaches in our, in our club. Wow. So again, that's not a judgment on some other clubs because certainly, you know, there are a lot of coaches that might be out there that their own child isn't playing. They're taking their time. They have some expertise. Uh -huh. And so, you know, it makes sense. That we just wanted to make sure that in our club, we didn't get off of our mission of providing the yeah. low cost. So our bylaws state no paid coaches in our club. So we're uh, all volunteer. And I can, from my perspective, that is amazing. I followed the whole, pro the expensive process of going all the way through the licensing, getting the A license. It takes time. It takes a lot of money, a lot of work, um, and really to make a living off of doing it. And from, and I still completely support that. Pers I mean, that mindset. That that's uh -huh. something that I think should be available and that's really drew me to, mm -hmm. to, to reach out to him. 
Nice. Well, we'd like to welcome you to our family, the Dubois United family. You're considered our cousin. Do we have a sticker for uh for Matt? Yep. To make it official as we speak. Yeah, as families, you know, like when 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 uh when you have a family and you have like a carne asada or barbecue, you invite your cousins mm -hmm. to the events and all that. We let's go on the sticker. You are a round of applause. Right, okay. You are Woo! new cousin, Matt Carver. There he is. So I would like to extend, um, offer you, you know, whenever you need our players do like a clinic or a mm -hmm. session at your club, they're more than, we would be more than happy to go. And, and obviously you will get VIP treatment yeah. at our games. We would love to see uh, the whole academy going mm -hmm. to our, our next home game is on June 5th yes. at Tiger Stadium. Yep. Uh, we're also gonna see if we could plan out like a opener game with one mm -hmm. of your uh, age groups. You got sure. from U4, all the way to U18 on the boys and U4 through 15 on the girls. Tell That's us a little right. bit about uh, those programs. How much of yeah. it is recreational, how much of it is select? Right, so our, our recreational covers both of those age or those ages all the way through. Mm -hmm. So for the boys, U4 through the U18, and then the girls, U4 to U15. And then the select is uh, U11 okay. through U18 for the boys, and then U11 through U14, or U15, excuse me, for the girls. Okay. Uh, and so, and then we're also we're anticipating we should be offering academy this fall. We're very close. Matter of fact, I'm talking to Iowa Soccer later today. Okay. Uh, and so we should be offering academy, which would be U9 and U10, or what Iowa Soccer calls academy, okay. yeah. which is yeah. sort of an in between between uh, recreational sure, and, and select. select. And so that's oh, wow. we anticipate that that'll be approved and we'll offer that this fall as well. And the goalposts always wow. seem to be moving with Iowa Soccer Association. At least in the last fifteen years that I've been working with them, things always, mm -hmm. you know, things change, things grow, things advance, and you know, sometimes they get better. Sometimes. Did you ever play where, where you go out of the the soccer house? Oh, oh, he's done soccer house. Oh, yeah, man. Have you played at the soccer house? Half, 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 half of the I teams that are at the soccer house. Are, yeah. are in, soccer house. in fact, I was going to show you something. So, we're looking to partner together. Uh -huh. uh, I wanted to show him some pictures. We're looking to get back to the facility as it was originally. That's that's wow. pictures when we, when, we, when we built it. Oh, really? And so, we're looking, wow. this is what we're, what we're looking to get back to so that we can, uh, so that we, we can oh. offer basically. All the teams in the area to come out and play and continue to play to, on a, at a good at a good mm -hmm. level. Good I mean, soccer house has such so much history. You know? yeah. Everybody yeah, it really knows does. Everybody yeah, played yeah. It. It was everyone's. The, it was the beginning of soccer. How do you see um, soccer now compared to ten years ago, and what do you see soccer in Iowa yeah. five years from now? Yeah, yeah, I, I'd say that the big difference from ten years ago, and you alluded to a little bit earlier, is that shift we've seen with a lot of the youth clubs uh -huh. where you've had uh, new clubs come up like our club which has been just over 10 years and like UFA that was uh -huh. on yeah and then with Des Moines Soccer Club I know UFA that was a little bit fast changed. what did he start UFA man went fast. Went fast. Yeah, UFA like, started in 2017 right got, with 32 right. players yeah, I mean, now he's got 600 he came to my office at the now the CPA firm and I was like you, you shoot you, I immediately emailed you and copied yeah. you and I was like this is the guy that you need to talk to. He's By the way, Jaime Leva was here for an interview, and he said, like, I owe my life to Brandon Hermes. Yeah. So he, that was pretty cool. He, yeah, he was an, he, I love, yeah, I love Jaime. He was an incredible player to have. He, he followed me from one college to another college, and, uh -huh, uh -huh. and that says a lot, so. Yeah. 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 I, Jaime and I are good friends. And he doesn't uh, our stop. Son, no, no, he <laughs> keeps going. And so that's why I would say it's a big change, whereas 10 years ago, you just had sort of the old school clubs that have been around yeah. for a long time. Long time. And they ran everything. They made all the rules, pretty much. There were a couple and guys now, that were from like out of the country that had it in their blood, but now it was very expensive. Pot in the United it was States, very expensive to play soccer. Now, right, you know? right. So yeah. that that's a big change. And then I'd say also just with what we're seeing now with uh, you know this new professional team coming and what you're doing, yeah. uh, uh -huh. you know, join United and so forth. That we're yep. seeing more of that with the adults too. Uh -huh. Whereas we've had the adult leagues, of course, for a long, long time. For those of us who've been around soccer in Des Moines, yeah. they've been around. But now you're seeing more attention with adult play. Yeah. And I think as you're seeing more attention on the adult play, then that 
raises the interest yeah. across the board. Yeah, exactly. And then you have more children that are going to watch that. And, oh, I want to play like that someday. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, that's the level. And then it just brings their passion up and their interest. Yeah. This is so what you're speaking about. Yeah, yeah, pro Iowa. Yeah, pro Iowa. Yeah, yeah. Pro Iowa. Yeah, yeah. Pro -Iowa, yeah, yeah. So, so with that and everything coming along. And you know, you, you know what's so cool that I, I've been with? I mean, we've been around not very long, mm -hmm. but I think we've made some very good alliances and, and as part of a family i mean we'll, we'll kick it forward the men is uh men is big partner with us mm -hmm. um pro iowa kick it forward uh, coca-cola is a big one coca-cola soccer house is a huge one obviously so, so and, it, and everybody everybody wants it everybody mm -hmm. wants to work together mm -hmm. and it makes so much sense you know yeah. you know um so now we're gonna go to a little thing both of you are coaches right correct so we're gonna set up uh, those are your chips, okay? And these chips. Set up our so, what was an ideal, uh, an ideal formation for you? Yeah, ideal. Set it up. Well, you know, it, it's tough. To, it's hard to say because, of course, it depends on the players. That's true. That's yeah. I mean, right. the players make a, a big cool. difference, but. Well, uh, I've got so I've I, got a bunch of box I, to box midfielders yeah, going all day long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I. I'm a little bit traditional, but how they play wouldn't be as traditional as it looks. Okay. So. So you're playing I'm against fan. Brandon, and yeah. he's got a what? A three? I got a four two three yeah. one. Four, some two, call three, it a one. four five. Yeah. Some, some call it five. I call it four two three one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So and then why? And I, now I have a four three three, but this is more of a four three three, like what man? I'm a Man City fan. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And so how Man City will play that? I love where, Man City, baby. Where man City will bring, and then the, the outside De player, yeah, De Bruyne. Well, they've been playing him a little bit lately as a false nine. Oh, so at times where. You know, previously hadn't been, but they're giving him more movement to be able to move as a false nine. Okay. Uh, and so in this instance, but again, it comes back to the personnel you have. And then often in the back, they'll end up with they'll end up with really three in the back as they as they push up the yep. field as they possess as they possess the ball. Then really it ends up being three in the back, and so that you have more offensive options. Okay. Uh, coming up the field and of course Fernandinho is such a great So player. Brandon okay, so has a goal kick. What do you position your players on a goal kick from Brandon? So I've got a goal kick coming, okay now. You got a goal kick? Yeah. Where are your players okay, at that so point? And where goalie? are your players? Who's your goalie? My goalie takes my goal kicks. So I don't I don't okay, know. Okay, okay. Yeah. So my guys are gonna be extremely wide on my goal kicks because I'm not a big fan of just chunking the ball up and trying to win the fifty fifty ball. Mm -hmm. I like to possess the ball. So it's gonna go ping, probably ping, ping, or ping, 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 like this. When we possess like this, four, two, three, one. When we defend, it's actually a four, five, one, because these guys are all coming back and defending. So when we don't have the ball, it's a four, five, one. Where are you on his goal kick? On his goal kicks, I, I like the high press, and so I, I'd like to get the players so up the field more. Okay, so he's out. I'd, here. I'd like to get the players. Wide, right? oh, he's he's like pressuring you from right. the beginning. Okay. So I, I like the high press. So they they so be, be up. Be they be up. You gotta be probably they, pressuring. They, they be up. Yep. Yep. So, wow. So, okay. That makes it tough to lose to so passing the ball. So here's where I probably it's, go. I probably it's kind of dangerous to be passing the ball. I there. Probably, well, you know what? We play out of the back, baby. Tiki tack. We go ping, ping, ping. Obviously, he's gonna come through. Ping. See now he's gonna carry down the line, coach. What are you gonna do? Your goal is way out of position. But it's Ederson, so Ederson. Oh, 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 oh okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So I mean, he's, Ederson's gonna get the ball. And then he's going to find Phil Foden no. all the oh, way here. Foden coming right there. Yep. So you're here, pass the ball a couple of times, and then you throw a ball to the switch, to the winger over there. Where are you? All your plays go back all together. Again, it just depends.
Anderson, you say hello. He likes the Ed- Ederson comment, say right? Hello. Oh, yeah. Hey, Louis. Shout out to him. Say yeah, out yeah. Out I, I, I appreciate the comment. I assume that's yeah. because of my comments on Ederson, so you appreciate that. I like the little Ederson. Yeah, yeah. Gabriel Jesus <laughs> also had a goal yesterday. Yeah, so. yeah. he was the coach yeah. of volunteer for the DMAC soccer club when I was a DMAC. Oh, nice, nice, yeah. nice. That was really whole program. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah, society, welcome. Society the morning that says, Boo Manchester City. Well, Boo Manchester Boo City. Man what? I, Please. Hey, How can I, you I, Boo Man City? I, I started supporting them before they won their first title. Not they, me. They did not me. Much, I support but. teams and I support the teams that are playing the best soccer. I really do. I yeah. know, apart from Urbandale, I don't have, like, allegiance. <laughs> I, when Henri was at Arsenal and Burkham, I was, I was an Arsenal guy. I was a Liverpool guy. Iron Munich guy. Man City guy. I like the teams that are yeah. playing the best. What players. is your prediction for tonight's game between I Justin and I think Urban I said 3 2. Is that you, said, you said 3 1. 3 to 1. That's right. 3 to 1. Yep. Yeah. And you yep. were going to showcase your shirt. Show oh, I did. Yeah, we took yeah. pictures and everything. You want to put it back on? Oh, yeah. Where, uh, I'll so be people wearing, know I'm going to wear this. Who you're rowing I'm going to wear this uh, to the game, too. Yeah. My poor nephew plays for Johnson. So. Your poor nephew plays the game. Well, I didn't play, but. <laughs> so 3 to 1. 3 to 1 is your prediction? 3 to 1, yeah. Really? My halftime prediction, uh, let's call it 1 0 Johnson halftime. They're going to get that equalizer in the second half. The moment, momentum's going to shift. They're going to get that go ahead goal, and then the wheels are going to fall off the bus of Johnson. And Tim Stork and Frizzell aren't going to know what to do. And just in the end, going to advance, baby. Yeah, yeah they, we've changed things up a little bit. So Matt, I'm going 3 2. Urban. Tell us a little more about the academy. I see you have registration for tryouts. What right. are the tryouts? Right. Can we put the camera yeah, yeah, on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so for Iowa United, anyone go to iowaunited.com, and then we have a link actually on there for the tryouts. And it should pop up here in a second if you go down a little bit. Then there shows all the times for the tryouts coming up here in June for the different age groups. Okay, and June right, 1st. Yeah, right now those tryouts would be at our field, at Barton Field, which is right next to Urban Hill Police Department. Speak about that field, too, Douglas. because that's, a, that's an un, yeah. a field that has gone for so long undeveloped and such an, a yeah. prime real estate, prime location for soccer that has just gone so long before it was yeah. finally developed with lights. Right. Um, wow. Irrigation. Irrigation, oh, yeah, yeah and nice. everything. And I'm, yeah. Spo- I'm sure it gets beat up because everyone yeah. wants to be on it. We use it so You do much. a good job, I watch, you do a good job of moving around drive. when I drive, when I drive. And I haven't really walked on it recently, so I don't, I don't know how, yeah. how, how nice it's it is. It's pretty beaten up now, just from the use. Yeah, But of course. Just, of course, all the rain we had recently, had a lot of games over the weekend. But the location's but. beautiful. I mean, if you sit on that hill at High V, I, I had dreams when I was a kid that that, could, that should be where the Urbandale Soccer, the high uh-huh. stadium, should be played. Wow. You could have people on that on that hill watching the game. I mean, you got facilities. I mean, that, that really could be cool. But they've developed it into something. Nice. Yeah, yeah, into we have something Musco, it should be. Yeah, Musco lights. We yeah. got Musco lighting, so we installed Big lights. Big partner there. for Musco Iowa company. Everywhere, huh? man. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, I love the project they got going. Keep it forward. Keep it forward. I mean, they're they're, they're brilliant. Keep it forward. It's awesome. Uh, incredible between the mini pitches and what they do with high school. This, this sport. Yeah. Big shout out to Blake and uh, and Benjamin. Yeah, uh, and bracket. Yep, yep. Yeah. So now we're gonna move to uh, Masag. Masag, we gotta give Matt, him credit yeah, too. Absolutely. I think yeah. he's the one that like got yeah, take care right of. The, yeah, the leader. Yeah. So you got a great partnership with Ticket Forward. I see you got partnership with the Menes. Yeah. And now with the Bon United, you're a cousin now, officially mm-hmm. our cousin. Like I said. Uh, anything that you need from our players, we're there for you, and uh, we hope to see you at our games as well. Yeah. And now we're going to go to our next activity, which is an actual game. Okay. The rules are as follows. You can only use those two fingers. Okay. Both hands. And you, you have to chips? pass. Yeah, move the chips out. Okay. Whoever makes three goals first wins. I bet you were expecting to cut off. That was not expected. <laughs> I tried to warn you that... Uh, Dar- Darwin is the a character for sure. He just got came from the gym, straight from the gym. Straight from the gym. I, it's my 109th day. Believe it or not, I was 47 pounds heavier than this. Oh, well, congratulations. Pure muscle. Pure muscle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's take all the chips out. So the rule is you need to pass the ball at least three times before shooting it. Okay. Okay? You cannot block one ball. his shot, right? You cannot have your hands above that because it would be considered an offside. Outside. So you can you can move your hands around your field, pass it three times before shooting. Okay. Uh, if you don't pass it three times, it will be considered a penalty. So you have a penalty shot out. So I pass to my. You own have finger. to pass three times, and you'll have to use both fingers at all times. You cannot use one finger. Okay. 
you know? Can you so just you guys left? start warming up and stuff. Start okay. warming up. Do a little warm up. Do a plyos, open the gate, close the gate. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, we're gonna get started, get a ball. United.com page, where can they reach you at? Where, where, where can they call? Or yeah, yeah. So also, so the, for the, the academy. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, so for the recreational, for that, they could do jhawksoccerclub.com. That's letter J H A W K uh -huh. Soccer Club. No hyphen. Yep. No hyphen in the, on the website. So on okay. the website, no hyphen, J H A W K Soccer Club.com. Or they could give me a call anytime. I'm always welcome to talk. Hey, Renee, she's yeah, your number. Well, number. Hey, so my number is 515-689-1213. It's Matt Carver. 689-1213. Right, or they could call Renee, my wife, Renee. Uh, okay. She does a lot, too. I remember. 515 How long have you been married? 25 years. Yeah, 25 years. Uh, Congratulations. Yeah, wow. Nice. How many kids? Yeah, 20, four kids. Four, four kids. kids. I'm almost a grandpa. Do they play I soccer? Do, do they play well, soccer? This, this yeah, is yeah, in, soccer. into yeah, Rocky. Soccer. So he has, a, he, has a, yeah. he has a player for us. But oh, honestly, nice. right now he can't yeah. play because of substate. Okay. But if things go the way that I don't predict, he will be available to train and play with us. And he's, he's one of the top players in the state. So he's wow. a player that we will want with us. Oh, and, and he'll be committed too. He'll be committed. Definitely. We'll, we'll get him. We'll get him on. We'll get him signed. We'll, we'll and we'll let him fight. And if he's good enough to play, nice. If he's good enough to play, he can play. We'll help him improve. Yeah. We would love to have you around yeah. anytime to our practices. Um, you know, feel more than more than welcome to come. Yeah, come visit. And invite your, some of your coaches to yeah. if they want to come visit. Yeah. When we leave, right. when I walk down with you, I I, I find I want to go over this session with you. I just oh, want to yeah, talk yeah, to you yeah. about it a little bit. Yeah. Um, and then, like I said, if, if we, we could probably organize a clinic where our players can yeah. go to your academy, play with the kids, all that stuff. We're, we're open for all that, all those things. That'd be great. You know? We appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for yeah. being part yeah, of the family. Yeah, thanks for coming in. I, yeah. I know it's the last minute. I know it's busy. You got tons of stuff going on. Big game tonight. Yeah, go um, Jayhawks. But I'm glad you're able to come in. Who are you rooting for? Urban Dale? Urban Dale. Oh, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, sons on Urban Dale. I question. just told him to bring his jersey. Somebody question? Yeah. <laughs> I should. Have, I didn't think about. It. I didn't know. I didn't know anyone else still had their twenty-year-old jerseys. I, I have the mine from eighty-seven. So. Uh, yeah. I like to give a big shout out to our sponsors, Coca-Cola Atlantic Bottling. If you're looking for a job, type the word jobs to six three 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 seven. If you're looking at a job, if you're looking for a job, uh, flexible hours with Yellow Cap. Go to yellowcap.cap. Big shout out to Fuerza Football. Uh, fitness, great place to train uh, players with Coach yep, James. Yep, we'll be there tonight. Uh, big shout out to Kick It Forward, Fuse Des Moines, uh, Des Moines Soccer Club. Now, our new member of our family, IowaUnited.com, Iowa United Academy. Uh, reach out to Matt. 
a great, 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 great. Uh, it's a blessing to have you here and, and be part of our, our family again. Yeah, thank you. Um, and, go Urban, go, and go Urbandale. And go Urbandale. We'll be there. Go Jayhawks. Yeah, go Jayhawks. <laughs> Any additional comments? Any no, I just, oh, I just to mention and Renee's number is 515-689-1214. So if you talk to Renee, that's great. Uh, give her a call. She'd help out with the club as well. So. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for yeah. being here, Matt. Yeah, thanks. Pleasure. Great to be here. Thanks, co yep. Thank yeah. you so much. Until See you in time. chapter 19. Yep, until next time. Yep. All right, thanks for